if you were opening a jiu-jitsu gym, how would it differ to a CrossFit gym? Uh, the short version is it wouldn't. Um, so some of you guys know this, some of you don't. Uh, starting 21 years ago, I started managing at the ripe old age of 16. I started managing a martial arts school uh, and teaching martial arts. Uh, as soon as I turned 18, I opened my own martial arts school and taught that. And that is what gave me the leg up once it came time to open CrossFit boxes. Uh, the model, it's almost identical. And it's definitely evolved over the years. What we do now is nothing like what we did back then. But I've had uh, plenty of martial arts schools, specifically jiu-jitsu gyms. I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, I've had plenty of jiu-jitsu gyms work with me one-on-one -on -one and come to the seminars. And it's almost identical. We just kind of change the wording. The nomenclature changes. That's what happens when I try to use big words, guys. I stumble. Uh, the wording changes a little bit. But for the most part, with the exception of kind of how we onboard at the, uh, at the beginning there, the most part is the same. The retention strategies are the same. Uh, the coaching strategies are the same, even if what we're coaching is completely different. Um, the leadership, the systems, the marketing, it, it's all pretty much the same. What we're talking about here is boutique, small group training um, on a monthly payment cycle. It's the same thing. So yes, I love jujitsu gyms. I think jujitsu gyms are the most underplayed of, of all fitness centers. I think they should be way bigger and way more successful than they are. They've got at least as much potential as uh, CrossFit or functional fitness boxes. So if you're a jiu-jitsu gym owner out there, hit me up. I want to work with you because I love jiu-jitsu gyms.